All right, ladies, no intro video needed. This is a tutorial using the Sugar Pill Burning Hearts palette. So let's get right into it. This video is gonna go really fast because when I went to edit it, it was like 20 minutes and I was like, what the what? So yeah, I had to speed this bad boy up real quick. So y'all know what I'm doing. I'm using Makeup Forever's Clown White. Um, that's a really awesome product when you're using bright colors because it shows up, the bright color shows up really, really well. Shout out to Nat Recipe One for putting me up on that. The bomb business for ships. So I'm going in with my first transition color and that soft brown. Now I'm gonna go into the Burning Hearts palette and I, I'm kinda sorta creating a cut crease but not really. I wanted to find a place to place that um, reddish orangey color and I didn't want it on my lid I didn't want it in my crease per se so I decided to kind of sort of but not really create a cut crease if that makes sense okay so now I'm gonna go into the purple color and I'm going to blend out the top of the line of that red just to diffuse that harshness and I'm gonna go in thick and heavy um, in my crease with that purple because I really want it deep and dark. So um, I blended the purple out with soft brown. I am now going into my brow bone highlight with rice paper. Um, and then I am going to go into my lid color. The first color I'm going to use is that yellow color. It's a gorgeous color, um, but it's very chalky. Um, so it's kind of difficult to work with. So I'm going to lay that down, flip the brush over, and I'm going to go into the orange color. I feel like I'm more like, who can talk the fastest? Hello! Okay, so the orange color is laid. I'm gonna go into purple, and I'm gonna put that in the corner, and that's gonna start to build up my outer V. I'm gonna touch up that uh, red color. I kinda sorta went higher on one eye than the other, but it's all good. It's makeup, right? Whatever, you could always fix it. So I'm going back in with that purple. To deepen up the crease and I'm just gonna blend out the top of the lines um, no product on the brush so I just went into soft brown and I am um, blending out the top of the line going back into the purple um, to add more color into the crease and into my outer V softening up a little bit and now I'm going to clean the corners of my eyes. I don't use tape. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Um, but that's how I get the sharpness. I just use a makeup wipe and just and just clean it up. Like That's just easiest for me. So then that gives me the opportunity to see exactly where I want to lay more crease color or outer V color. And so that's what I'm doing now. And then I'm going to touch up the lid color and try and blend and marry those colors together. Now I'm gonna move on to liner. And I gotta tell y'all, this Wet n Wild liner has taken the place of my favorite, which is the NYX uh, pencil, that felt tip pencil. That felt tip pencil ain't got nothing on this Wet n Wild pencil um, liner. I don't know what, and, and I had it forever. Like, it was sitting in my drawer forever and I just refused to use it. Anywho, guess what I'm using? Peach Lust. luster I so love this product all right so that's all blended in I'm going in with Kat Von D on my flat top kabuki brush from Sedona Lace blend that bad boy all into the skin all into the skin and I'm gonna try something different in the last tutorial that I did with uh, Larissa net recipe one she did something where she laid three different color um, uh, um, concealers down so I'm gonna try that. The first concealer I laid down was, was NARS uh, Color and Armand. The second was my MAC in NW42. And then the third, which was right under my eye, is Kevin Aquan Skin Enhancer in SX11. And I am going to blend that out with my Beauty Blender. It is damp with Fix Plus. And then I'm gonna take a, my nose is itching, excuse me. And then I'm going to take a, um, a brush and just kind of um, make sure directly under my eye it's all blended out. 
So I'm also gonna try her uh, contour process. Now, the contour color that I went with was a bit dark. I had to try and make it work. Don't know if it works, but it is what it is. I went down the bridge of my nose with the Kevin Aquan Skin Enhancer. I normally don't use that color. I usually use uh, NW42, but that's what my hand went for, so that's what it was. So I'm taking the Ben Nye Midnight Brown, and I'm using that as a contour on my cheeks and my jawline and down the sides of my nose. I'm going to blend that out. Um, my camera cut off because the battery died or the memory or whatever it is, freaking fracking. So um, I, did, I don't have an opportunity to show you how I blended it out, but it's all blended out. So then I'm gonna go over that with Max Blunt on my cheeks and my jawline and I'm gonna contour my forehead. And I normally don't contour my forehead and you would think that I would because my forehead is so freaking fracking big. And I don't know why I don't contour my forehead. But I think I'm gonna start contouring my forehead. Like, it actually looks a little smaller. Well, maybe not here, but if you saw me in person, it does. Anywho, so I'm going on to blush. I'm using Max Magenta, um, just lightly. I don't want a whole bunch of blush on my cheeks because my eyes are outrageous. I'm going in with Albatross now. And this whole time, I so totally forgot to set my under eye highlight. Like, what the what? Like, I don't, I don't know what I was thinking. I'm tired, y'all. I need a nap. So, I set that. Now it's time to set my entire face with my favorite product, and that is Ben Nye in the color Nutmeg. And that kind of toned down um, the brightness from the concealer and the Ben Nye banana powder. And now I'm gonna move on to lips, and I actually use two different lippies. And this first, the first one is, um, what is it? I forget. City Color Cosmetics and Latte. And I am lining my lips with, who can guess? Five, four, three, two, one. Nutmeg! I'm sorry, not nutmeg. Chestnut! Yes, chestnut. So I'm lining my lips with chestnut, and I'm gonna go in with latte and over latte I am going to use a naked gloss I don't know the name of it I will put it in the description box below um, so that's the lippy that I chose to go with because the eyes are so bold um, I didn't want to go with a bold lip the second lip that I had were two Fioshi lippies one was purple and one was yellow and I kind of sort of um, braided so I put the purple I put the yellow right in the center of my bottom lip and the rest was purple. It was cute, but um, you know, it was a bit much. So that had to go. And the yellow, it just, it just, it's not very pigmented. You would think that it is, but it wasn't. So it, it wasn't my friend, so the yellow gets a gas face for me. No bueno on the yellow. Um, so yeah. That's it ladies, I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. I had fun using this palette. Here I am just serving, I'm trying to serve, I'm trying to give you some, some fabulosity. So thank you so much for tuning into my channel. If you like what you see, please um, comment, subscribe, and share. Until next time ladies, God bless and take care of yourselves. Bye.